I like raisins. All right. Countdown, Darkwing. Countdown plays an accurate countdown. You don't think I can count down from, like, three? So do we go on on go or after go? <laughs> what, what What is this? Uh, lethal weapon? <laughs> three, two, one, and then when I hit say go, we hit start, okay? How's that? Sounds good, buddy. I don't have a timer up on my screen, so I have no idea what's going on. That's going to be weird. But, uh, all right, so... In a few, in five seconds, I'm going to start the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Hopefully, you uh, started when I did. Ulek Tech got a head start. Ah, oh, what a jerk! Did I get a head start? I, I mean, as far as what we can see. Alright, so this particular route has the hardest stuff early on with Manhandla. Uh, it's... Manhandla's very random. Hey, we made it in. Yay! So they're getting to level 3 as fast as they can by screen scrolling over there. Um, they... all you have to do is get to a particular pixel, about uh, 5 pixels from the edge of the screen, and tap up or down for one frame. It'll let you turn around and then you can walk right through. Um, hey, I got a bomb. I did which, not. Alright, I'm already ahead. It just abuses the mechanics of the game for... Um, the game has some logic in it so that you won't get caught on the corner of a block. Oh, I got hit by yeah. a... Ooh, I'm so almost dead. it tries dead. to line you up. And yeah. it has a, an obscure little glitch that the tool assistant runner somehow found by accident. I got, I got the key, did not get hit by a bubble. Oof. I got hit by uh, Dark Nuts. Now, they I don't want to get hit because, oh, as the old man I... says, 10th enemy has the bomb. So throughout the run, both runners are going to be trying to kill 10 consecutive enemies without getting hit. So they can force bomb drops. That's bad. This is like the worst case scenario. I'm for already me. short on bombs. So am I. Yeah, they both have one bomb at the back. <laughs> That's horrible. Yeah, it, it, this, this oh, is. Oh, God, I did not get one. This is pretty bad for both of them. Darkwing can get the force bomb from the first room, but that's still fewer yeah, bombs than he would like to have. Um, Dark, Black Tech is gonna go up to the top here and then get an extra room drop bomb from this keys room. Um, these are all backup strats because they didn't get the necessary random bomb drops in a regular room. Oh, I got a random off a Dark Knight. Oh, I've got full. But nice. I only got one health. Alright, this is, you know, this is very nerve-wracking here. Oh, they came back. Yeah, they're not going to... Ah, Van Handel went down in one bomb. Whew. That's nerve-wracking. We're, we're through. Alright, okay. I'm entering. Van Handel. So Darkwing's in great shape here. Yeah, you didn't die in level 3 equals great shape. And 8 bombs, of course. Plus a 5 rupee for some reason. Yay, Van Handel is dead, but I don't have any bombs. Ah... Uh. So, you know, the beginning of the race can, you know, the first part of the ra race can be the deciding factor. Yeah. So, I'm in, I'm in normal shape. I'm actually better than normal, given I have five rupees. Yeah, Lack, uh, has some issues that we can uh, get a bomb as soon as possible. Lack attack actually killed Manhandler too perfectly. Ah. Here we go. Bombs now. You really want to hit him slightly off center so you get that tenth enemy trick going on. Oh, but we got a bomb. So we're rolling. Yeah, every every time uh, Manhandler makes a little rubbing noise, it counts towards the consecutive counter. Uh, so if he makes ten of those sounds, it, it, you know it happens within frames. Then um, you know you'll get that force bomb when Manhandler dies. As long as you don't get hit while he's making that noise. Yeah, I didn't do that. Jerk. Well, that works. So, yeah, you can't beat... Well, you can't beat level 4 in a speedrun sense without having bombs when you go in there. You'd have to 
can kill a manhandle without bombs. So that's what all that counting is about. It's about just okay. trying to force there we drops. Go. Oh, I only got one. Bad breakfast room for me. It's the breakfast room because there are pancakes and jellies in there. There we go. One of that fairy. Oh well. Yeah, if you kill 16 enemies in a row without getting hit, it overrides drops with fairies. Which isn't often useful in the speedrun. Okay. See how the uh, water skip goes. So it turns out that screen scroll trick getting past a barrier also yeah. works for clipping through blocks and through rivers. Yeah, they actually clipped through a block in the dark room earlier in uh, level 4, but, you, I mean, you don't even notice it unless you know what the room looks like when you're... Oh, that's kind of beautiful. Um, ...when the lights are on. So, we'll see the block clip later. In level 1, we'll see it again, and we'll see it multiple other times. So. It's hugely useful in Come level 5. Yes. And if you're looking forward to the Lost Woods, sorry. Lost Woods will not be featured in this run. Man, Gleok. I'm at 29 and 1, leaving 4. And neither will the Lost Hills, of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm at 12 and 3. 29 rupees. Wow. Yeah. The runners need to have 30 rupees after, like, basically right after level 1, which is next. So Darkwing already being a 29 is handy. Yeah. Only 40 seconds off pace. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. See, they need 60 rupees to buy a candle. I had to do a uh, just a moment. I had to do a quarter step there properly, or I would have gotten hit by the blue octoroc. If I was late on turning left, I would have been hit. I just opened the door, by the way. You guys can explain that. It turns out there's a glitch where if you leave a dungeon, the game gets confused about what door you left through. The upshot is if you leave and come back at the start of level one, it unlocks the door for free. Alright, yeah. It, it would actually Skinny do it in any dungeon if the top door was locked in that dungeon, but this happens to be the only one where there's a door locked up at the top, so it's the only place where it's useful. It just looks like you're making a mistake, but it is intentional and very useful. So that's a an important force drop, the bomb drop that Darkwing got there. He set it up by killing 10 enemies in a row since he was last hit. And, and he used his last bomb doing it, so had he miscounted, it would have been very bad. Random right. drop in the uh, river in the Gria room, so that's good. And then, uh... Lack of does the same thing. Then they, uh, they kill some of those gels in between to skip the fairy counter because if you um if you kill a non-dropping enemy at 16 you won't get that forced fairy drop and the counter wanna, doesn't reset yeah so they want to get the the bomb drop at 20 in the next room if they can um or a forced five rupee either one would be good a lot of the time and if they got the fairy at 16, they wouldn't get the bomb or rupee drop until 26 instead. So it can be kind of complicated. Lots of little intricate details. Oh, I was going to hit the split that I don't have. All right, level one down. So Darkwing's all set. He has all the rupees he needs. And he has bombs. Lots of bombs. Must be nice. <laughs> it is. It, I tell you what, the nerves are definitely gone at this point. Yeah. Black Attack may have oh, to no. go get a backup strat. Oh, that's right here. Oh, that was fun. What'd you do? 
I just got hit by Aquamenus. I didn't. I decided not to walk to the right when I went into the room. I just went up. New strat. <laughs> All right, level one done. I say that could be a five random. I got a five random. I'm at 44 and six, getting the heart. 45 and six. Right, so I'm going to be able to skip both 30 secrets. This is what you want in a record run, even though I'm not, you know, we had to spend time to get this extra cash. Alright, I'm going to do your, uh, your, what do you call it, hero strat or something? Scrolling back at the heart rock. <laughs> and I fail it miserably. There we go. Oh, I didn't count to see where I'm at. Okay, now I know where I'm at. I'm at 80 and 4 right now. Wow. Yeah. Architect still needs three rubies. Two. Somehow. Three. No, this I didn't want... A, Ooh, that's bad. This is a very important time for them to keep their consecutive Connor uh, track of it because they want to be forcing a, a, forcing a bomb drop in the... Um, in the recorder room. I'm going yeah. to try to scroll... Okay, I'm going to screen these guys on so that I can uh, reset my spawn counters. We should be fine now. Ah, oh, shoot. Alright, one. I gotta kill nine more without getting hit, or get two rupee drops. Get the special secret, get the uh, other secret. I'm at four. Oh, and I'm at zero. Okay. That, this is uh, slightly risky by lack of attack. Hopefully it works out for him. Oh, I got beam sword now. It should, uh, should be okay. There we go. All right, we got the rupees. I'm gonna do the dumb step that I don't like. Oh, right. oh did you get hit? Yeah. Dark. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Uh, that strat is to up my consecutive count, so I get a bomb off of these uh, blue dark nuts. This is the uh, big part of the run. Five. And I just wasted the bomb. Okay. Come on, man. I when wasted another bomb. practicing, I predicted that Darkwing would die anywhere and be right here. So by saying that, I'm sure he, he won't. Yeah, th this is pretty much the most important room in the run. You, you can have swings of 20 seconds or more. I have to, be, I have to go more. for it here. I got it. <laughs> there we go. Six. using his last bomb to force that. Wow. Very gutsy. And it was at the end of the bomb, too. <laughs> so bombs are generally important here, not just for this room, but you basically need full bombs going into level 7, which is after this. So they're going to be continuing to try to keep their bomb count high here. Uh, that was a very bad dark room. Oh, Lack Attack has caught up due to a good Dark Knight run. Wow. Are we tied? Yeah, I didn't get hit for the first time in forever. <laughs> You're within like five seconds now, it looks like. Yeah, nice. Thanks for waiting up, man. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm at 14. I'm trying to figure out where I'm at. 18. At... I have no idea. Uh, there, there are still plenty of sticking points in this run. Um, <laughs> you gen guys gen would do that. <laughs> Generally, they're pretty consistent from now through the end of level eight or so. That you know, you're not going to see swings of more than um, you know a couple of dozen seconds or so at the most. But then lots of little things could happen, and level nine. Almost hey, I got a free. Happen. I got a random bomb off the of Gibdo. Uh, I got a random too off the of Gibdo. I got a forced off the of Gibdo. Forced, yeah, forced and random. <laughs> Just dropping bombs and keys and everything. Yeah. So it sounds like we're pretty much tied. Even it might be the stream has some lag on one of ours. Uh, I just passed the Gibdo room. Same here. Yeah. Just got through the compass. Giving the people what they want. Yeah. All right. Let me know when you hit the Triforce. All right. Good. Pass.
pattern there by the Giddos let me through. See, normally in, in, in a world record run of this game, these guys will know exactly what spawn patterns they're going to get in every room. Because again, they're actually not random. But because both of these guys have had to scramble and go to other rooms and, and adapt. Triforce. Wow. They don't necessarily know what's going to happen. So it's pretty amazing that with all this improvisation that they're tied. You don't have to get the extra 30 secret nope. though, do you? Yeah, see, that's where you're gonna... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna move, move back, back ahead there. Yeah, I, I got ahead of myself a little bit on what's coming next here. So they've... Uh, they're, not, they're going to level 2 before level 7, but they do need... Um, basically, they're both in really good shape on bombs. Uh, Lax is a little short on rookie, so he's gonna pick up that 30 secret. Uh, Darkwing's gonna have to pick up 20... Uh, Rupees between forced and random rupee drops um, in level two and on the way there, um, but that shouldn't be much of an issue. The Twenty is pretty easy to pick up with all the ropes that you have to kill in there, which are the snake enemies. They drop rupees at a high rate. Okay, got, get, got the good. Uh, and there's lots of them, so you can get forced rupee drops. They need 140 rupees after level two because they're going to buy the items they need to clear the next two levels. They need the, the meat, the oh, bait, for level much. 7. And the arrows to kill the boss of level 6. I almost screwed that up. It's my least favorite screen scroll is that fruit by the lake. Uh, I got hit by it. Got hit by a... Uh... Moblin as well. So I'm one heart down, but uh, heart uh, health doesn't matter too much for level two. Anybody? Nah, it's just you know it's good to have the uh, beam sword with the ropes. Go down easy. Yeah. At this point, these guys are ah. overpowered for level two. You're expected to have like four hearts. And a lot of people try or wonder why do they pick up so many heart containers, especially the ones that aren't at the end of the dungeons, and it's because they need 12 hearts for the magical sword, so, yeah, it's just a matter of getting the best weapon sword uh, to make levels 8, 6, and 9 a lot faster. I'm gonna be safe here, kill these ropes, they're completely unnecessary, but in a marathon type route, there's a chance I get stiffed on money, so might as well. Yeah, how important is the magical sword? Uh, Ganon would take 16 hits with the wooden sword. And Ganon does 4 hearts of damage every time he runs into you. So. Should've bombed that guy. Which guy? Alright, we'll see how money goes here. I'm a little bit uh, wary. I have to do some hunting here. I'm at 138 ending Korea, so I'm gonna have to take this a little slow. Hope to get a five. There it is. Oh god. All right, I'm good on everything. Yep, same here. Just took out the dongo. So did I. He went straight up. He did not come to the left. Yeah, if you actually bomb Dodongo. All right, I just got the Triforce. By same stunning here. him. Instead of letting him eat the bomb, then he'll freeze, and you can stab him and get a free bomb drop. So we're still virtually tied. That's amazing. And yes, Zelda 2 will be pro JN and simple dude after this run. It's really amazing to me that both The Legend of Zelda and Zelda 2, when this marathon was set up, both had the record tied. Uh, Jay Coper, I found out that you can buy bombs if you have full bombs. Yeah, I mean, I was pretty confident that that would be the case. Yeah, yeah. I knew that. You can. 
That's not the smart. That's obviously not the smartest thing to do. No, just you know how I like to walk across the, the blue ring. Yeah, you did that. Yeah. I have never done that. I've never bought bombs accidentally. Oh, I've done that plenty of times. I have a, you know, I kind of have nightmares about it, so I make sure never do because that ends a run. Oh, definitely. You, you cannot beat the boss of level six without the arrows. And you have to go get 20 more rupees. Which would be faster just to get the 100 secret nearby. Sort of nearby. So level seven is the quote unquote easy level of the later levels. Um, in this setup, it's a little harder. Usually you'd have at least the white sword here, but they just have the wooden sword. Fortunately, there's not very many enemies that you need to kill in this dungeon at all. You'd also usually have the blue ring at this point, and uh, that makes this, that makes the game easy, laughably easy. And you also expect it to use things like the boomerang. Yeah. So the only worrisome thing here is your health. Uh, you could you could waste some bombs, which I've done on more than one occasion, but that was a good move. Yeah, there are nine total levels, but they're, they're doing them out of order. They're doing them in an optimal speedrun sense. You, you can play this game in a lot of different ways and do the levels in a lot of different orders. Um, just need the required items. Did I get a bomb drop? Dungeons. I no, I didn't. Okay. So after this dungeon, they still have six and then eight. And then level nine. I have to Make sure to follow both of these streamers. In the past, they've both run very challenging runs of this game. Black Attack has done the extreme rules, which are crazy, and Darkwing has done three heart. Just low percent. Runs. Yeah, low percent. <laughs> See, the good thing about extreme challenges is that you can get the wand. I don't have that luxury in low percent, so it's a little different. Yeah, getting a wand is a lot of fun. Okay. Wall masters were co and bubbles were cooperative. Same here. I think we're pretty close. Just entered the stairs. Did you get uh, any free bombs? I got the Dodongo bomb. I did not get anything on that one. So he's got the advantage now because of that. I have to do this guy with a sword. I had five, so I did it with the sword anyway, just so I wouldn't Try for could just get one bomb drop in six and be good. I was missing a lot of hearts. Uh, I was about four down, three and a half, I think. Yeah, I think I was at about seven or eight down. The bomb drops are, uh, again, very important at this point in the run. Yeah. Um, Darkwing needs to get a bomb drop by the time he starts level 8. There's really not any way around that. Um, and they both want to have full bombs by the time they finish level 8. And level 8, it's hard to get random bomb drops. So, typically you want to get full bombs coming out of 6 and then just deal with what you have left out of there. It's... It's probably most common to be finishing level 8 with 6 bombs and going into level 9. Fortunately, there are a lot of enemies in 6 that rock off. Oh bombs. gosh. Yeah, there's, Double there's plenty. swords from the Lionels, both of them. Well, the, the big bat guys, the Vyres, and the red Wizrobes both drop bombs and you kill plenty of them in the dungeon, so... The sixth board gave us a lot of trouble as kids. A lot of us. Oh, come on. That keys room is actually one of the most important of this dungeon. That I just went through. <sighs> yeah, I got hit in there. I'm still one bomb short. I need another one, but I don't need the other bomb drop until after we use one. I wasn't, I wasn't okay then. Ah, uh, screw you, spawn. Hate you. Again. 
It was again, these guys don't know where their spawns are necessarily going to be. Yeah. Random on it with wizards. Yeah, the red ones, so long as they're kind of in a cross pattern with you. Oh, I ought to be safe there. Alright, I'm, I'm damaged. Damaged goods here. Magic can do a lot of damage. The red wizard of magic will do four hearts of damage. Yeah, there are only two things in this game which do four hearts of damage. Uh, getting hit by the red wizard spell or running into game. Yeah, Ganon is the absolute opposite of. Ooh, I'm one bomb short right now. Uh, well, one bomb drop. I'm four bombs short. So I. Ugh, that's not good. Oh gosh. <laughs> Seriously, excuse me. Okay. <laughs> Wizrobe went into the door. What? Poor Goma. <laughs> that, that just doesn't happen. That, that has happen. not happened in any practice. Yay! It's something that's never happened before. Yeah. I, I mean, it's not unusual Triforce. for blue Wizrobes in general to go into a doorway, but in that room, in this route, that, that just doesn't happen. So. They normally just don't have time to do that in that room. I think I'm ahead, but I'm a bomb drop short, so I have to do a little bit of farming here, hope for a bomb drop. Yeah, I've got seven bombs right now. So, Nothing. even seven is still lower than where you would like to be here. Now, if you're wondering, the reason they can whistle so efficiently is because the game actually remembers which dungeon you last yeah, no whistled drop to. Before. And you can control which one you go to next by controlling which direction Link is facing when you whistle. Facing right or up will make it go to the next dungeon up. Facing left or down will make it go to the next one down. All right. Let's see what happens so they can always control where they're going to go. Saves a lot of water. And another fun thing we just learned about the whistle recently is that um, the whirlwind from the whistle actually resets your consecutive counter, like you got hit by an enemy. So, it's just a, another fun little detail of Bomb drop! Alright. Keep track of things in this game. That worked. A little slow to get it, but it worked. That didn't seem slow. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you had funny standards of slow. It's all relative. Ah. The game is Again, kind two to you. Berries and three hearts in the second dark nut room. The game is kind to that makes the blue dark nuts enemies uh, that drop a lot of health. They figured you needed it and they were nice to you for once. Yeah, really, thanks. I'm glad they. You know how the. Um, in football, when uh, the third quarter has ended, a lot of the uh, teams will. Whoops, will hold up. A, their, you know, hand and the four fingers up to signify fourth quarter and how important that is. We need to do that for nine. We need to hold nine hands up. Nine. <laughs> hold nine. We will do that. Because I just, oh, that was a terrible eight, though. Nine. I got nine fingers up if you're ready. Notice how they're not even bothering to grab that last I got them up. They were only grabbing hearts to, uh, Bad eight though for me. Definitely a little lead here for Lack Tech, but um, yeah, anything can happen in nine. So we'll see. Uh, they've implemented several more risky strats in nine recently that you kind of have to hit to get a world record. Well, and oh. I kind of have to hit to win. It sounds like. Yeah. Yeah, you, you might have to. You're a couple screens behind on my screen, but uh, then again. I, my synchronization is off a little, I think. Let me look at the other. Yeah, you're definitely behind. Yeah, I'd guess about 10, 15 seconds behind, taking into account Which lack of tax be... stream being ahead. But then again, that can be right. made up for in one room, basically. There's a, there's a couple really rooms that are pretty tricky. Ganon alone can make that difference. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Um, they're also going to be skipping some uh, Patrick killing, and 
they can be very difficult. I got a bomb drop in the overworld. Uh, I didn't get the other bomb off, so I'm only two ahead. But that might be okay. what I... I might have to play it that way. No extra bombs for me. I'm not even doing a count for uh, the first wizard over. Alright, made it through Patra. Okay. Walking right through Patra there is so See, dangerous. Fun, I, get. Know how to do it because each I got a bad one. It's two hearts. It, yeah, um, I mean, it sometimes it, do, it doesn't matter if you know how to do it necessarily because he just has to move the right direction in order for you to move or walk right through him. And bad pattern. He did not move the right direction for Darkwing. He does the right pattern about 50 to 60 percent of the time, I'd say. That he didn't for, do it for me is <clears throat> disappointing. And don't worry, chat. We'll judge who wins by Sky, so that. Video head start won't make any difference. Oh, I've got second patcher. Did you skip him or kill him? I skipped him. I might not be able to. I'm low health. Doing that block clip under high pressure. Well, well, we got to do it then, right? I'm behind, so we got to see if we can't do it. Did you get hit? I, I think you got to go for it, Darkwing. Yeah, black is only down one heart. In the oh, first. Ah! <laughs> I just got hit by the red. Was red. So All right, I got I got the skip, but I got hit. So yeah. whack attack at six hearts, dark wing at four hearts. Man, it's, it's <laughs> both, both very risky. It's, this is this is pretty scary. But remember, Ganon can take off four hearts just by hitting him. So, uh, and it's far from safe to get to Ganon. So. A lot of uh, tension. It's so much tension. Oh, Patra. <laughs> so much tension. And, and Get out black, of the way. <laughs> that block clip coming back from um, the silver arrows is the tension very key is as well. real. Oh wow. Black attack had to kill Patrick. Woohoo! I'm down to two hearts. I got black four. Black attack four. Gannon could decide this race. <laughs> I died to Patra coming back. Oh, well, that's... Now, basically, if Lack Tech does not, that was a bit too risky, I think. They're not going to... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's no sure thing. I, I understand. Heart... No, I have died again in plenty that, of time. That heart helps, because that means Lack Tech can take a hit from Ganon. But it's no sure thing. So she seems to take a hit in that room sometimes. Yeah, so now he can't take a hit from Ganon. Right. And Ganon is kind of tricky to predict if you Come on. Right. don't Let's kill him immediately. There's a quick kill, which is pretty easy, but if you don't get that... You can actually stun lock Ganon if you get your timing just right. And if you miss it, well, of course. good luck. I think sometimes the timing doesn't matter. He, he needs to go to the right place, and sometimes he just doesn't go to the opposite side of the screen. Thanks, Hippo. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Black forced fairy there. That was pretty huge. Now he's got seven hearts to work with instead of four. So. By going into the Patra at seven on his consecutive kill count, he could force a fairy drop and get additional hits. And there's that stun lock. Oh, time is at the Triforce, of course. Yeah. One, once he... Did I get this arrow already? Yes, because I was coming back on the back. So that's it. What's the time? 33.30. Wasn't that what you set the over-under to, Lack Attack? I thought it was... I think it was 32.30. I know it was something 30. It was something like that, yeah. Boo! So the underdog wins. Yeah. Congratulations. Good Lack. race for 
pretty much the whole game right after uh, after five. But sometimes, sometimes you die. Yep. That's, uh, I shouldn't have had that happen. Maybe I shouldn't have gone for uh, getting through the patcher there, but I shouldn't have been I, that low health anyway. I noticed Darkwing redoing it started at three hearts. That that makes retrying it not easy. It, it, I think it's unlikely that you would have caught up anyway. Was it a perfect Ganon? No, it wasn't perfect. No, it was second. close. It, it was it, it was probably best. Man, I'm having a the Patra's going way up. Virtual on. Console is completely legit Swedish Game Freak. It's slightly slower because the Virtual Console runs at a slightly lower frame rate. You lose about a second every 10 minutes. So if you're going for a world record, it's, it's a handicap. But if you just want to learn the game, the Virtual Console is just fine. Ugh. But then... The virtual console oh, Japanese come on, version yeah. would be probably the fastest again. one, right? Uh, Besides playing on a oh, okay. uh, actual Famicom. No, because the the Japanese virtual console version is the Famicom Disk System version, which has oh, it has small load times, but it has load times. Thanks, PJ. The, okay. The absolute fastest version is the Famicom Kart, which is basically the port. The back port of the U.S. port to Japan again. Come on, Ganon. <laughs> Just go for the Dark Link victory. Dark Link. You should clip out of there. Clip out of there. Yeah. yeah. Oh yay! Link wins. <laughs> <laughs> no. Final Fantasy 1 is coming up shortly after Zelda 2. Yeah, so now we're gonna have to go take care of Dark Link here. Yeah. I turned it I was so upset that I lost I went to to Dark Link. Easy turn Dark Link. Alright, well thanks for having us. Appreciate letting me play. Yeah. And uh, good race, Darkwing. Uh, well, it was good until I died, but that's yeah. <laughs> neither here nor there. Yeah. Yeah. All right, congratulations, guys. You, thank congratulations you. for second me. place, the first loser. That, that was a great race. I was on the edge of my seat there. So I'm gonna hop off the call and go into Zelda 2 call. Okay. All right, All right. chance. You guys yep. in a bit. Yeah. Thank thanks a lot, guys. Yep. All right, uh, so we'll head it, send it over to the host, whoever that may be. At uh, uh, whoever's hosting, so uh, we'll go ahead and uh, mute everything, and we'll uh, thanks everybody, and we will see you in my stream maybe? or what? We'll How are you guys doing? See you later. <laughs> Take over, guys. Thanks. See ya. You guys have a good day. It's Frankie Frameskip here, hosting. I'm going to set up for the next race. I hope you guys enjoyed that race. That was a good race between Darkwing and Lack Attack. Uh, very fun Zelda race. I'm going to set up for the next race, and I will get this up for you as soon as I possibly can. Uh, please be sure to stick around, stay tuned, listen to what everyone has to say, and uh, say what you need to say in chat, and the next race will be up shortly. Um, once again, thank you for watching Best of Ness. We are extremely uh, happy and supportive that you guys are doing this. Once again, Frank Framskip here. Everyone's here, Glory. Uh, everyone's here, and we're having a great time. So you guys continue to have a great time. We'll set the next race up. Thank you, guys.